Hello and welcome to another video. In this video I'll be discussing all things Birmingham Comic Con related. What happened on the 18th and the 19th of November 2017. So this is a bit of a talky video um, and me sort of a retrospect and an overview of the weekend because I had a fantastic weekend there. Um, meeting some fabulous guests and meeting some dear friends. So it's been an absolute treat. Um, didn't actually film any of the day because if you've been to a Comic Con event, you know that they're quite busy and they're quite loud and you'll probably get some goon trying to ruin, ruin the video. Um, but just imagine Funko Pops literally everywhere and then you've practically got Comic Con and then you've got anime weird stuff um, which I don't really understand and I don't really want to understand it but that's there. Um, so yeah, so we talked about the guests who I met and sort of a day by day what happened and of course I did pick up a few things so that'll be shown at the end and I'll do a slideshow of photos and autographs as well. I'll insert them when I can but I'll do a massive slideshow at the end with photos of people I met and some of the mates as well. So there we go. Um, let's get cracking. So Saturday. Saturday was probably the quietest day for me meeting guests. I only met two people um, and Saturday's normally the busiest day because everybody loves Saturdays. Um, so yeah, um, arrived about nine o'clock. So I had a bit of a look around looking at um, bits and bobs of some of the stores because Birmingham Comic Con is very good for doctoring merchandise. It has practically everything. Um, so I had a look around there um, and sort of waited till around 11 o'clock and then David Warner and Lisa Bauman appeared and I was like, okay, I'm gonna meet David Warner. Um, because those were the two people who I wanted to meet on um, Saturday. Um, and the main reason why I went on Saturday. So I went over to meet David Warner because he was busy signing, um, you know, people's Omen box sets and Star Trek stuff. And I was like, look, I'm, I'm not here for that. I'm here for your big finish work. And he just looked so sort of puzzled going, my God, you listen to big finish. And I was like, yeah, I, I listen to big finish. And he shouted over to Lisa, you know, he listens to Big Finish and he just seemed so chuffed and humble and so grateful about that. Like, he's just like, oh, I'm so pleased that you listen uh, to the audio. You know, he's talking about his doctor and his sort of process of how he gets into character. And we talk, talked about King Lear, how that was, how different it was for him doing it on audio because he did it in 2005. And he did tell me about some of the stuff that he's doing for Big Finish, but they're not, they've not been announced yet. So he's given me a few teasers of some of the stuff that's going to be happening. And it does sound pretty exciting, and I probably will get that. Um, so yeah, lovely David Warner. So humble and grateful, because I was kind of very apprehensive meeting him. Uh, because when if you've listened to some of the Big Finish stuff, I was expecting him to be very much like his doctor, quite grumpy, um, but also quite witty. But he's just so humble, he's like polar opposite. He's just really humble and so nice and just a brilliant person to meet. Because I did have the chance to meet him at Dev the Doctors, but I didn't actually experience any of his big finish work. So I didn't feel like it would be right for me to meet him and just go, can you sign this? And then that'll be it. Um, so I'm glad that I've experienced it because I absolutely love his Doctor. And then I met Lisa Bauman chatted about the new adventures box sets, how good the writing is um, and also King Lear how that was so hard to adapt because you know it's one of the iconic Shakespeare plays um, and she talked highly of that haven't listened to it yet and uh, yeah it was quite nice got a photo of Lisa Bauman which I'll put on the screen now so once I had done um, I had another little wander till about 12 o'clock when I had a photo shoot with David Warner. So there's my photo with David Warner. I um, love that photo, it's quite nice, um, you know, because there was only a few of us having a photo of David Warner. Um, but you sort of, um, you know, they get them to sort of test the camera out and David was just doing all these weird funny things and it was just absolutely great. Shame I couldn't film it because it would have been really quite nice because he's just mucking around. He's just really polite and humble um, and just a gentleman really. And then once that had been done, off I went home. Now, Sunday was a lot more exciting day as for guests and meeting some good old friends of mine. 
Uh, so yeah, I was quite excited for Sunday because I'd meet Paul Mackey and David Bradley who I was very excited to meet. Um, so I arrived at Birmingham about half nine, got something to eat, um, so had a little bit of a chill. Booked my photo shoots for the day which were Paul Mackey and David Bradley because Paul Mackey did sell out on Saturday so I was like I'm not missing this chance to get a photo of Pearl um, because you know this is the last chance she is with current companion and it's nice to say that I met Pearl Mackey while she was still in Doctor Who um, so that'd be nice um, so I did that and then I queued up for David Bradley around about 11 o'clock and, and I was in line for about 10 minutes 10 to 15 minutes which I think is always a good sign so if the line is going slow and at a convention um, for a guest you know that the guest is taking their time and they're nice and chatty so I think that's always a good sign instead of the line going really quickly like okay they're not that chatty um, but David Bradley what a brilliant and just really sweet guy honestly it was just so great to chat to him um, because recently the children need clip went out and I will say I really did like that clip I feel like David Bradley has really mastered Hartnell. I feel like he's finally getting that attack and the bite what Hartnell had. But yeah, brilliant. Really like that clip. But back to David Bradley. Um, we chatted about the big finish stuff. I asked him about the lunches and he said, well, they're a bit disappointing. It was a Sainsbury's um, buffet and it was very hit and miss for him because he was told about these legendary lunches instead he got a Sainsbury's buffet, which was quite nice. And uh, I asked him about what was different sort of playing the first Doctor this time around, you know, what did you do differently, sort of research-wise, so it was quite a nice um, discussion, and he wished me well in my endeavours, you know, he said that he'd be looking out for me, and that was really sweet of him, um, and yeah, really nice guy, had a nice little chat, so I'll put the autograph on the screen now. Then about half an hour later, um, or 20 minutes later, I met Paul Mackey, and um, I got in line because there was about two or three people in front of me and the security bloke was like, uh, well the sort of warden I guess was Stuart um, so Pearl Mackie was like yeah and then he closed the barrier so I was the last person to meet Pearl Mackie before she went on a break um, so that was cool so I got a bit of, you know, I got about five minutes with Pearl Mackie which was really nice um, chatting about things and my god if you get the chance to meet Pearl Mackie do so because she is just an absolute treasure to the Doctor Who community. We are so lucky to have her. She's just a real gem. She's so nice, so bubbly, um, you know, and she's kind of redeemed, you know, um, that because I did have a bad experience with Billy Piper um, in Birmingham. So I was like, okay, um, you know, I was a bit wary because I was a bit scared that Case Pearl would be a bit the same. But she is completely opposite. She is so nice. Honestly, she's brilliant. We chatted about Series 10, you know, and she would have loved to have done another series, but things were meant to be. Um, and obviously I asked, you know, Big Finish was like, hell yeah, I'm up for that. Um, so that was great. And we just had a chat about some of the episodes. It was just real great. You know, she is just so lovely. And she just gives some really great answers. And yeah, here's the autograph. After that, I found Adam the Ultimate Hoovian and we just had a little wand around the stalls and just had general chit chat about Doctor Who magazine. Then Adam went off to his photo with Peter Davison and then about about 10 minutes later, I went and had my photo with David Bradley, which I've got on the screen now. Um, yeah, it was so nice when I was about to leave the photo area, he was like, I honestly mean what I said, I wish you luck and I'll be looking out for you. And that was just so sweet, it was just a real great way to sort of end my little uh, meeting with David Bradley. Then me and Adam got in line for um, the Pearl Mackey photo shoot, so I'll put my photo of Pearl Mackey on now. Just say, I absolutely love that photo. It's probably my favorite photo shoot I have ever done and Pearl is just brilliant as you would expect. Honestly, brilliant. Meet Pearl, just meet Pearl. She's one of my favorite guests I've ever met. She's brilliant. Oh, so nice. So while um, me and Adam were having our photo shoots um, for Pearl Mackey, JR Arkham Reviews and Terry Leptal emerged. And Adam didn't know that JR Arkham Reviews was coming and neither did I until about half 10, you know, the previous night saying, by the way, I'm getting a coach down to Birmingham. Um, so, yeah, 
So it was quite nice to meet up with him and, and see Terry Lapdell, um, and he was a very lovely, very sweet person as well. Um, so we just had a wander around the stalls. Um, they went and met Bill Mackey, um, and obviously they loved it because Bill was Then lovely. I met Janet Fielding, who again, I was kind of apprehensive meeting, um, because obviously Tegan's quite bossy and arrogant, so I was kind of a bit timid to meet Tegan. But Janet Fielding, was just so brilliant, uh, so lovely, just so sweet. Um, and you know, she complimented me on my 12th dot graph, saying I'm in, I'm in the market for a new coat, um, which was nice. And I had a little chat with Sarah Sutton as well, and had a photo um, as well. So there's, I'll put the photo and the autograph on the screen. And then after that, we just essentially wandered around the event and saw a Pearl Mackey panel. And then that was it, we drifted off our own separate ways, said goodbye, hugs, and all that kind of stuff. And that closed Birmingham. Um, so that's the event, that's how the weekend went. Um, so now I'll do a quick collection. Update. Now I didn't pick up much um, Doctor Who merchandise. Um, I picked up the Doctor Who Travel Out the TARDIS for Doctor Who Fans Guide to England, Scotland and Wales. So it's going through all the Doctor Who locations from the classic series from up until sort of 1986. So that's very cool. And I've got to thank J Arkham Reviews for finding that because he kind of persuaded me to get it because hey, it's Pertwee and Bessie, can't go wrong with that. So that's very nice and uh, quite a nice little novel book, I guess. And strictly not Doctor Who related, but technically it's Doctor Who related. I picked up the Wurzel Gummidge book by Stuart Manning. I was meant to get this last year, but I never did. And it is signed by Stuart Manning there, which is very cool. And it just basically goes through behind the scenes of Wurzel Gummidge, some really uh, great photos go through sort of the episode by episode guide it is just brilliant um, just absolutely fantastic book if you love Wurzel Gummidge you've got to get it it's just absolutely brilliant um, and you know Wurzel Gummidge was my first experience with John Pertwee um, <laughs> believe it or not so yeah very happy to have that and I cannot wait to explore some more behind the scenes stuff of Wurzel and the final thing I've got technically I didn't get this at Birmingham, but this arrives in the post today, and it is the middle, the recent main range release. Um, listen to the first part, not going to say my thoughts on it because that will spoil the review, so there we go. That's the overview for Birmingham Comic Con, hope you've enjoyed it, I had a fantastic weekend and I just want to say a massive thank you to Adam the Ultimate Whovian, Jay Arkham Reeves and Terry Lapdal for such a fantastic day, and if you get the chance to meet Paul Mackey, David Bradley, Lisa Bowman and David Warner and Janet Fielding do so because they are brilliant people to meet and definitely worth the money. Um, so yeah, it was so nice to meet Phil Mackey. I keep on going about Phil Mackey, I feel obsessed with Phil Mackey. Um, honestly, it was just really nice to meet a current companion and nice to meet her before she stops doing the UK conventions and just does the American ones because that's the new series thing. The new series people tend to do conventions you know, abroad. Um, so it's very nice that we got, you know, the current companion doing UK convention so I'm very pleased to have ticked Paul Mackey off the autograph list so there we go so without further ado let's do a slideshow of the day so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video which will be a big finish review so thank you very much and bye bye